This is the Kaggle site. In the competition section, go to the Titanic competition. In the code section, we can make a new coding environment by pressing the new notebook button. This is a new coding environment. You can change the name of the notebook here. You can make the menu visible or not by pressing this button. There are menus we already knew. You can check what notebook is running by looking at the bottom left. On the right, you can see the console menu. What is a console? Console is another name for a terminal. You can write your Python code here and run it, but we don't need this one right now. Now take a look at menu on the top, file, edit, view, the usual menus. The arrows on the upper right can hide some information. This part shows you current hard drive, CPU, RAM, and there are some more buttons. And you can use GPU or TPU. And there is a data part. Looking at the input, you can see that there are three files that we have seen before. There is a test.csv and there is a train.csv. I'll press the X button to get rid of them all. This time, I want to see the output, but there is nothing. You can also change the range to use in settings. The code help will show you an example when you ask how to do this. For example, if you ask me to how to read a CSV file, it tells you that it does this. Now let me run the first cell. In order to understand what's going on here, you should be able to distinguish the real Python code that will be executed and Python comments. All sentences beginning with the sharp are comments. So sentences that start with the sharp are for humans, and computers only need parts that don't have sharp. Let me read. Import NumPy as MP, import pandas as PD. We already know what NumPy is, and we imported pandas, but looking at the explanation next to it, it says that it is for CSV file input and output. Then there are some more, which are codes that show what files are in the input directory. Let me run this code. PD was pandas, read CSV means to read CSV file, and write the name of the file to read. This will show the contents of train.csv. If you try test.csv this time, it will look like this. So what's the difference between test and train? Counting the number of columns, there are 11 in test and 12 in train. The number of columns in test is one less than the train dataset. These data shows whether they were survived or not based on information like genders and ages of the people on board the Titanic. Whether they were survived is not indicated on the test, but on the train. This competition is to create a model that can predict the person's survival using columns of a train dataset, and then apply the model to test the dataset to predict whether or not the person was survived. Let's look at the contents of this sample submission file. Here, the name of this sample submission file is gender underscore submission. If you look at the number of rows, it is the same as the number of rows in the test file. Therefore, you can think about this submission file as an answer sheet. Simply write down the question numbers and answers before submitting it. If we predict well, it will be ranked high or it will be ranked low. First, we'll read the example answer sheet and save it in a variable called df. and save the df variable as a file. The reason for doing this is to save the file to the output directory. Gender submission is in the input directory, and there is nothing in our output directory. So we have to save it in the output directory so that we can submit it. How can we save it? df.2 underscore csv, and the file name index is equal to false. The important point is that index is equal to false must be explicitly written so that the index is not saved together. If the index is saved together, the answer sheet cannot be submitted. After saving like that, it seems that the saved file should be in the output, but it is not there yet. To actually see the output, you have to hit the save version button. Once you press this button, my code is saved, and after my code is executed from the top to bottom, 
the result will be saved as the current version. Once saved, the version cannot be modified. If you make some additional changes, then you should save it as a new version. Only in this way, what you did before will not be erased. We can decide which version to submit for the competition. If the newly saved version is not better than the previous version, then you can submit the previous version. After version is saved, something will be shown here. Just ignore them all. Go to Viewer. If you go all the way down, there are input and output sections. When you click the submit button here, this is going to be a real submission. Just do some obvious things and wait. It is only successful when the word complete is shown here. Otherwise, you have to do it again. Go back to compete, go to Titanic, and look at the leaderboard. On the leaderboard, you can check your rank. Not so impressive, but I can see many more below me. So I'm satisfied that now I can make the submission file and actually I can submit it.